Hi, I'm Johannes Peitz and I want to help you on your hopefully never-ending way with the clarinet. So that you know what it could be about, for example, concerning basic play technique, I want to show you two easy exercises. I do them very often and quite successful with my students and in my master classes. You can try to work out if they are helpful for you. If yes, there will be heaps of more. You need a glass filled with water like that and a straw like that for one of the two exercises and for sure your clarinet. You may stop the video to take these things. First, play playing easy group of five notes up and down legato in a slow tempo from G to D and back, like that. Now, listen to three things. Do all notes have the similar dynamic and color? Is your legato well, like oil colors flowing into each other from one note to the next, without holes or noises in between? And play a good phrase from the first to the last note with a little climax in the middle. Try again and try to improve a little this three things, equality, legato and phrase. If you feel like it, you can pause the video and try it a few times. Okay, let's continue now to the following exercise and check after that if something is going easier. Take the glass, put the straw in the glass with water. Glass should be filled up two thirds and the end of the straw should be a kind of in the middle. You may adjust where you feel well or check different positions. Take air in the down part of your body and let air into the straw and try to get bubbles as slow and small as possible and as long as possible, like that. Do three or more times. If you feel like, you can pause the video for that. This could be a little hard work. Why? Support is the whole state which the press muscles use to avoid the sink down of the press container. Support is the whole state which the press muscles use to avoid the sink down of the press container. So, the exercise trains the slow expiring, the slow relaxing of the press in muscles, so that not all the air falls out of the lungs like a normal life, because this is too much air for the instrument, for the very small opening we have got between the reed and the mouthpiece. So, this exercise is really a muzzle training of the diaphragm. That's the reason why it is a little exhausting. The kind of unnatural thing when playing clarinet is that we don't blow into our instrument, but that we retard the fast natural expiration and give dosed air, like in talking or singing. Also here, we don't blow. Now, do the straw again to remember. And then take the clarinet and try to copy the feeling of giving air, especially in the beginning of the first note, G. You may hold a little longer and continue the sound over the five notes phrase. And listen if something has changed, if the sound is better, if the notes are more equal, if your legato is working easier, if the phrase is better or if you just feel better. If you feel it, like it, 
you can pause the video and try it a few times. Second exercise to improve your body feeling with the instrument. I name it the Newton exercise. For me, the idea is really helpful that the Newton's third law is also for the clarinet. I'm not a physicist, but for me the law is both forces, the air pressure done by you and the opposite pressure of the different air columns in the instrument, eliminate in the point where they meet, what is the top of the mouthpiece in your mouth. In other words, support eliminates the resistance of the instrument. Now, take just your mouthpiece and blow increasing air between reed and mouthpiece until the speed of the air is high enough to let the reed starting to resonate. You hear a note. Raise it up a little so that it's a kind of a high D3, like that. Try to feel no resistance, so not like the feeling of blowing up a balloon. So without resistance on the idea that your airspeed eliminates the resistance of the mouthpiece. Can you feel that the sound will be small and pressed if you blow stronger? It is enough to use only the energy, the airspeed, what is necessary to start the reed vibrating, not more. Try to keep the feeling in repeating a few times to feel the right amount of airspeed as if the mouthpiece is a part of your body and not something you have to overcome. Try again and hold the sound longer. Now, take the whole clarinet, finger a D3, and feel the same feeling in the top of the mouthpiece like before. Feel the non-resistance. It's not helpful to hear too much in this exercise, just feel the non-resistance of the instrument. If you enjoy the feeling, play whatever you want, up and down, soft and loud, but stay in the feeling, in the top of the mouthpiece, where the air goes to the instrument. Like that. This is only possible if your air is changing all the time. If your embouchure is active, your body just reacts to the different resistances of the instrument. Just reacts flexible on what you can feel in the mouthpiece. What you can feel in the main contact point between clarinet and your body. Like in talking, where you also don't think on what your air is doing. Try to, place a, to play a piece in this feeling, always staying in the good feeling the clarinet is part of your body and the instrument does not offer any resistance that you never fight with or against your clarinet. That you never operate a machine, but that you complete your body with your instrument. Good luck for that and hope to see you soon.